Hello friends, I am Rajesh Doshi and today we are going to see how to remove the error can't connect to MySQL server on local host. This error occurs when we are trying to access MySQL server without starting it. So now we will see a demo of getting this error and then how to remove it. For that we will be starting the command prompt and making an attempt to access MySQL server with the root user. You can access it with any of the user account you have created for MySQL. So we can see over here that we are getting the error can't connect to MySQL server on local host. Okay, so to get rid of this error we need to start MySQL server. To start the MySQL server there is a file which is responsible for it called MySQL D. That file is present where this MySQL is installed. Okay, in my computer the MySQL is installed as an integrated part of XAMPP server and that XAMPP is present in the F drive. Okay, so first of all I need to navigate to the drive where the MySQL server is present. And now first of all we will be locating the MySQL D file. So I am going to the F drive inside SAM there is a MySQL installation done inside which there is a bin folder and let's search out MySQL D file okay over here it is so this is the file which is responsible for starting the MySQL server so we need to provide the path of this file over here so the way of providing the path is over here first of all I am providing one space then inside the double quote the entire part of that file okay so now I am simply pressing enter okay it's telling that starting the process okay it may take time but if we are impatient what we can do is simply copy this command okay and do the same process of navigating and pasting this path by restarting the command prompt I am giving one space and pasting the path it usually doesn't happen but many a times it if it takes more time you can do this okay so now our XAMPP server is started now to ensure that it is started let's again make an attempt to access our MySQL server okay so MySQL I am accessing as a root user and pressing enter over here so we can see that we are getting the access to our MySQL server right so over here we got rid of that error can't connect to MySQL server on localhost the reason was our MySQL server was not started okay thanks guys for watching this video and we will be continuing with the series of removing MySQL errors. Happy coding!